some pretty risque lyrics in that song for its day. Wow. Let me. There was a man in heat. There's no doubt about it. Uh, that was uh, that was the album version. As you can tell, it had a 10-minute ending on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the single was, I think, two minutes and 30 seconds. But the album uh, version, you always get uh, carried away on. So, so I, I noticed you <laughs> kept wondering, when is this thing going to end? <laughs> Never. Marvin Gaye's song, Heard It Through the Grapevine, you picked that one out. Let's I love see. that because I like the raisin commercial. <laughs> and uh, Plus, we do it on our show. We've been doing uh, Heard It Through the Grapevine for years and years and years. And you know that song's been a hit three different times by three different artists. And we don't remember who. <laughs> well, we remember Gladys Knight and the Pips did it. And, uh, and, and, and Myron Gaye did it. And, but uh, uh, the, the Credence version, a lot of people remember, was never a single. So that you really couldn't ah, count that but as it got a lot, I got a lot of airplay. Sure. Got a lot of, okay, so maybe that was it. But anyway, Heard It Through the Grapevine refuses to die. And now it's a raisin commercial, so I think it deserved to be on the electric lunch. How about Him or Me? Him or Me, a good old Raider song. Uh, I, uh, I just happened to like that. I thought it had a good beat. I gave it a 90, so I thought we'd wear it. <laughs> Word out here on the Electric Lunch. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here in just a second with probably one of your most famous songs of all time, and we will do that next. And now to tickle your funny bone, the dairy farmers of Washington present Edmund's Drake Sather at the Kamudi Farm. Ever see these empty shopping carts by the roadside? How do they get there? Aisle five? I thought she said I five. <laughs> and these mega supermarkets today. I went in one. I notice if you stand at one end, you cannot see the other end because of the curvature of the earth. <laughs> and they all have a natural food section now. If this is a natural food section, what's the dairy case? Hardware? <laughs> Personally, I'd move the natural foods near the milk. They'd sell better, because milk puts you in a natural frame of mind. It's a natural way to get calcium. No pills. You just drink it. So when you're buying milk, you'll have this natural tendency to reach over and grab some wheat germ or rice cakes. You know, rice cakes aren't bad. If you put enough frosting on them, be good to your bones. Drink milk. In downtown Seattle, weekdays till 8, Saturday and Sunday till 5. Oh, Larry, look at this ring. Well, it's too late now. What? I said it's great. It's like, wow. The Shane Company. Now you have a friend in the diamond business. Hey, Paul, you got me so carried away here, I almost forgot to do some pretty important business. We That's right. Electric lunch break to Hawaii, and we had to pull a name out today. And who's the big winner today? Hey, I'm looking at it. It's old Hank. Henry Stinson. Henry Stinson. Where Henry he, where Stinson. Does he live? He lives uh, on Federal Way. Okay. Uh, Thirty. Should I well, tell him no. the whole shot? No. Because <laughs> oh, I could have all the neighbors go over there and beat on his door. I don't think he'd appreciate okay. that. Well, he lives reason. in Federal Way. Henry Stinson. And so, he qualifies now for our trip or two to Hawaii on the next lunch break. Yeah. And we're going to have the big drawing on November the 28th, as a matter of fact. So Perfect. If you, if you haven't sent in a postcard yet, hurry up and do so. KISW's electric lunch break, 712 Aurora, North Seattle, 98109. But we're really here to talk about Paul Revere and the car show this weekend in the Coliseum. You're going to do, what, four shows there now? We're going to rock you to death. That's right. I called all you people here together just to tell you this. We're going to be uh, there tonight, 8 o'clock tonight. Come down for sound check. The first show is always fun because you never know what's going to happen. Watch, uh, watch my amplifier blow up or something. Tomorrow we got two shows, one at 3 in the afternoon, one at 8 o'clock in the evening. Sunday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon again. So all weekend long is rock and roll at the Coliseum. Also the car show. And uh, scratch your name on the side of the monkey mobile. <laughs> Don't tell them I said so. They got it roped off. You can't do that. You can do that. Go ahead, guys. Do it. Just, just move the rope and just do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there. Thank you very much for coming in here and spending an hour with us. It was a lot of fun. Playing the old songs, listening to the old Raider stuff, too. A million stories about this song, none of which you want to tell on the radio. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce it as the only version of this song ever recorded that you can understand the words. Well, I'll like tell it. you what, boy. Th this, this song, I, gotta, I, gotta, I want to dedicate this song to the Wailers because if it hadn't been for the Wailers, we'd have never recorded it. And uh, if it hadn't been for us, the, the Kingsmen would have never recorded it. So uh, it's, uh, anyway, it starts all the way up in Seattle, uh, a group called the Wailers, which... Uh, is some old friends of mine that uh, I'd like to dedicate this this to, but this is our version, and we had a lot of luck with this. This uh, was a, a number one record for us all through the Northwest, and uh, people still remember it, still want to hear it, and uh, yes, they'll make a California wine cooler commercial out of it probably. Who knows what'll happen to this song, but uh, we're going to play it here on the Electric Lunch. Louie Louie. Hey, thanks again for coming in, Paul. Thank you, Big Dan. All right. We'll see you later. All righty.